Welcome to Learn Sibelius 6 in one hour. You can download a PDF of the Eroica score that we'll copy in this course from my website www.composerhome.com. If you want, you can also download catch-up files which allow you to jump straight into any individual lesson. And now there's an ebook for you to download to your PC, Mac or mobile device from www.amazon.com. Just search for Learn Sibelius. In this lesson, we're going to learn more about the keypad and we're going to learn how to put notes into our score using alphabetic entry. Alphabetic entry is quite like step time entry, which you learned in the last lesson. You'll remember that step time entry was a combination of using the keypad and we learned that the numeric keypad on your keyboard fitted with the keypad in Sibelius's window and inputting pitches using your MIDI keyboard. Well, we still use the keypad in alphabetic entry. You can see that I've just selected the first bar that I want to put notes into in the viola part now. And I'm going to start alphabetic entry by typing N. N, of course, is for note entry, and that puts the blue line at the start of the bar, telling me where my first note will go in if I need it to. Now, on the keypad, I'm still going to choose my note lengths. So if I type 5 for minim and dot at the bottom for a dotted minim, I've got the note length that I need. If you look in the score, however, you'll notice that there's something else attached to that note. It's got a line through the stem of the note. It's a single tremolo line, or if you like, it tells the viola player to play quavers rather than just hold that dotted minim. So this is where we need to learn more about the keypad. You'll see that there are buttons here on the right-hand side that we haven't talked about yet, and they're going to actually move us through different layouts of the keypad, and you can see these are different layouts at the top, which correspond to the buttons F7 to F12. So I can choose to either type those buttons or to press the plus on my keypad to arrow forward, and I can see the six different layouts. This is the second different layout. It's got grace notes, appoggiatura, acciaccatura, some very short note lengths, um, I can move on to the next one. There I can see the single tremolo line that we need in corresponding with the number one on the numerical keypad. I can also see buttons there for changing the beaming of notes and adding different kinds of tremolos and um, beams to notes. Moving on to the next keypad layout, I can see that there are lots of different articulations including up and down bows and also different kinds of fermatas. On the fifth keypad layout, there are some jazz articulations and interesting repeat marks for repeating sections of music used a lot in jazz as well. And the last one is accidentals. It includes double sharps, double flats, and even some quarter tone accidentals for the crazy modernists out there. The button with the two arrows going backwards will take me back to the start, or I can just go forwards one more time and I'll go right round to the first keypad. So let's just revise what we've loaded here. I've chosen a minim and a dot from the first keypad layout, and then if I go through to the third keypad layout, I've still got selected that tremolo. So I've selected all of those things on the keypad before I put any pitch into the score. Now because we're using alphabetic entry, I'm not going to play the pitch, I'm actually going to type it. So the pitch that I need is B, in fact it's B flat, but Sibelius assumes that if I just type a pitch that I need, then it will be inside the key. If I wanted B natural, I would have also chosen the natural sign on the keypad, which of course corresponds with the number 7. So now I'm just repeatedly typing B, because that's all the viola does. Poor viola, not a very interesting part for the first six bars. And each one is coming out with those things that I've loaded on the keypad, the dotted minim with the single tremolo line. So now the note lengths change, so I'm going to turn off the tremolo by going to the third keypad layout and pressing number one again. I'm going to go back to the first keypad layout and I just need to crotch it this time, so I press number four. I'm going to type the B again for another B flat and then I'm going to press zero on the keypad, which of course corresponds to a rest. Now I need a dotted minim again, so I'm going to choose a minim with number five and a dot with the dot and I'm going to type the pitch A this time for the A flat. Now Sibelius has chosen the wrong octave. You'll remember that I played the wrong octave in step time earlier on and I could alter that with the arrow, uh, up and down arrows, and holding down either control on a PC or command on a Mac at the same time. So let's move that A up an octave with command and up arrow. The next bar has got a single uh, minim so I'll turn off the dot there and type the pitch again. I've added the tie as well using the enter button.
and then it goes to a crotchet so whoops I'll just nudge that with the arrow key type the wrong pitch and then it goes to a crotchet so I'm going to press number four and then it goes to quavers so after I've typed the pitch here I just can change to quavers and a run that's very much like the one that we put into the violins earlier on just type the pitches that I need not quite as fast when it's in alto clef as I was in treble clef you can have fun putting this in and see if it tests your alto clef reading too and then finally we get to the last bar note that the notes in this bar have a staccato so let's put that staccato on before we actually type the pitch so I'm gonna just you can see that dot there at the top of the keypad is the staccato I'm gonna select that and then I'm going to type the pitch that I need which is the G there and once I've put that in I'm now looking at the next uh, note which of course is a double stop two notes at once or a chord if you like so how do I put two notes at once in when I'm in alphabetic entry well you put the lower note in like this the E and then I want a note that's a third above so I simply type three and of course that's the three above the QWERTY bit of your computer keyboard so I type three and it adds a note a third above within the key that I'm in and I can keep doing that type uh, the E type 3 type the E type 3 uh, while it's selected I can also quickly repeat it using the R shortcut that we learned before R for repeat of course when you've finished alphabetic entry just press escape to cancel the mode that way if you want to drag the paper you won't accidentally put more notes in let's revise everything that we've done in our score so far we put the initial note the chords in here using mouse entry then we went over to the cello part and we recorded this in using flexi time entry. Next we went up to the first violin part. We put the first violin part using step time and now we've just put the viola part in using alphabetic entry. These four methods are 90% of the work you'll ever do in Sibelius, putting notes into your score. You should fill in the rest of the score to practice them. There's the second violin part, and then over on the next page, the woodwind parts. Practice the methods you think you'll use the most.